whole Masoor Dal blood sugar friendly? This is part 4 of a series where I'm testing how different pulses affect my blood sugar to find the best options for PCOS and insulin resistance. Today, I'm having 40 grams of whole Masoor Dal or brown Masoor cooked with just a little bit of ghee. I'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor, so let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar rose by 40 mg per dl and returned to baseline in around 2 hours. With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2.5 to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was moderate and stayed within my target range. In my previous test with pink masoor dal, my glucose had spiked by 61 mg per dl. This time, this was significantly lower, making whole masoor dal comparatively more blood sugar friendly. So why did this happen? Whole masoor dal has its outer skin intact, adding more fiber and slowing digestion for a gentler blood sugar rise. In fact, I had seen a very similar pattern when comparing yellow and green moong dal, where my spike with whole green moong dal was much lower compared to yellow moong dal. In the coming videos, I'll be testing my glucose readings with other commonly eaten dals to compare how they impact my blood sugar. Let me know what you think in the comments below.